exploration of ancient city of Shiraz starts with the unique phenomenon of Maharla Lake, located 30 kilometers from the city, that turns this regular lake into a pink spectacle. The phenomenal color comes from the high amount of red algae in the bottom of the lake. The high proliferation of algae is due to the salty water of the lake. During the summer, when rains are less frequent, the high rates of evaporation turns the lake into a gorgeous pink color. The best time to visit this attraction is from June through September. However, it's highly dependent on weather conditions. The earliest reference to the city is Shiraz, dated to 2000 BCE. The modern city was founded by Sasanian dynasty and restored in 693 CE. In the 13th century, Shiraz became a leading center of the arts and letters, and now it is known as the city of poets, literature and flowers. The tomb of Hafiz has two memorial structures erected in the memory of celebrated Persian poet Hafiz. The open pavilion structures are situated in the Musala Gardens on the northern bank of a seasonal river and house a marble tomb of Hafiz. Hafiz was born in Shiraz in 1315 and died there in 1390. A beloved figure of the Iranian people who learned his verses by heart, Hafiz was prominent in his hometown and held the position as the court poet. The legend says that by listening to his father's recitations, Hafiz had accomplished the task of learning Quran by heart at an early age, that is the meaning of the word Hafiz. At the same time, he is said to have known by heart the works of Rumi, the Sufi mystic and poet. One of the guiding principles of Hafiz's life was Sufism, the mystical movement that demanded of its adherents complete devotion to the pursuit of union with the ultimate reality. There are many beautiful gardens and green areas in Shiraz. However, the Iram Garden is one of the most spectacular. The origins of the garden may go back to the 12th century during the Seljuk period. Over the years, different dynasties and Iranian tribes worked to improve Iram, that is today part of Shiraz Botanical Garden. Iram literally translates as a paradise garden, also features a mansion with a big pool in front of the building, as well as sophisticated irrigation system. A three-story building of early Kaja architecture with a basement within which a narrow flow of water used to make the summer afternoons less unbearable. The building is decorated with different sorts of tiling, as well as the three crescent-shaped inscriptions and paintings on the top are of the great significance. One of the memorable activities in the garden is to dress up in a traditional outfit and to take a picture with a beautiful garden landscape. The 12 hectare garden of Shiraz is created on a slope with an altitude difference 10-15 meters. It's located on two platforms and has various types of plants from all over the world. Iram is one of the nine Persian gardens listed at the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wandering around the old city of Shiraz through the narrow winding streets and enjoying the smell of rose and orange blossoms is one of the must-dos in the city. It's a traffic-free area with old housing, traditional blank walls of adobe and bricks and tall fences. By the time you're getting hungry and looking for the place to eat, I would recommend Julep Cafe with a nice friendly staff and two cooling sitting areas inside and outside. It offers Iranian European style menu and good for both breakfast and lunch.
Vakil Bazaar is the main bazaar of Shiraz, located in the historical center of the city. It was originally established in the 11th century and has beautiful courtyards, caravansarais, bathhouses and old shops, which are the best places in Shiraz to buy Persian rugs, spices, copper handicrafts and antiques. Ali ibn Hamza Holy Shrine is the tomb of the nephew of Imam Riza, who was the eighth Shiite Imam and descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. It is a religious site and the most important place of pilgrimage in Shiraz, so wearing an Islamic veil is a must for women, and they are supplied with one at the entrance. The first mausoleum was built in the 10th century and was renovated many times since. The existing shrine was built in the 19th century, after earthquake destroyed previous incarnations. Dazzling Venetian mirror tiles adorn every inch of the walls and dome ceiling, creating a mesmerizing play of light and reflections. There is also an impressive mirror hall that surrounds the tomb, covered by a huge green mirror. The highlights also include the stained glass windows and the intricate wooden door. There are separate sections for men and women in the interior, but they make exceptions for foreign visitors. In the 13th century, Shiraz became a leading center of the arts and poetry, due to the encouragement of its ruler and the presence of many Persian scholars and artists. Saadi was a Persian poet and prose writer of the medieval period. He is recognized for the quality of his writings and for the depth of his social and moral thoughts. He is one of the greatest poets of the classical literary tradition, earning him the nickname of the Master of Speech, and has been quoted in the Western traditions as well. His book Bustan has been ranked as one of the hundred greatest books of all time by The Guardian. Saadi was born in Shiraz in 1210. He lost his father when he was a child and was raised by his grandmother.
After leaving Shiraz, he studied Islamic science, law, history, literature and theology at a university in Baghdad. The unsettled conditions led him to wander for 30 years abroad through Anatolia, Syria, Egypt and Iraq. After the battles against Crusaders, Saadi was captured by Crusaders at Acre, where he spent seven years as a slave digging trenches outside its fortress. He was later released and visited Jerusalem and then set out on a pilgrimage to Mecca and Medina. After 30 years of traveling, Saadi came back to Shiraz, where he spent the rest of his life and was buried in a monastery at the site where present mausoleum was erected. The Quran gate stands tall with a grand central archway flanked by two smaller entrances and it's one of the prominent symbols of Shiraz. Originally it was built in the 10th century. By the time of the Zen dynasty it had sustained a lot of damage, faced multiple restorations, a small room was added on the top, in which were kept handwritten Korans. Travelers passing underneath the gate were believed to receive the blessing of the Holy Book as they began their trip or journey from Shiraz. The citadel of Karim Khan was built in 1180. Karim Khan invited the best architects and artists of the time and bought the best materials from other cities and abroad for the construction of the castle of Karim Khan, which was quickly erected. During the Zan dynasty, it was used by the king as the living quarters. During the Qajar period, it was used as the governor's seat. After the fall of Qajar dynasty, it was converted into a prison and the paintings were plastered over. All rooms in the castle are interconnected from the inside through a hallway-like passage. The brick walls of the rooms are adorned with the tall wooden windows that allow natural light to filter in. Hamama bathhouse is considered one of the first private bathhouses of this kind. This part of the citadel was the most intact section and were only used by the royal family. The innovation in the water supply system came from redirecting water from the Roknabad Kanat, a clean and mineral-rich underground water source carrying water from the mountain's bed, from the interconnected wells creating underground streams and taking water to far-off places. The Paris Museum is located right across Karim Khan Citadel and it was built in the middle of a garden under his direct supervision. Two stories building has a regular octagonal shape with a ceiling more than 14 meters high and it's a burial place of Karim Khan. It was used for holding official ceremonies and it was a place where the royal guests were hosted during the Zen dynasty. Paris Museum is a display of almost 30 handwritten Korans, a number of magnificent paintings of famous Persian artists, including the paintings of Karim Khan and poet Hafiz, as well as many other valuable objects. Paris Museum is the oldest museum in the province of Fars and was the first museum located outside of Tehran. If 
If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.